Yeah, yes. absolutely. And especially when you start the work week with rain and then you have that small break yesterday and now we're talking about rain again. You almost get the days mixed up right now. It's 48 degrees out of KCI and currently raining there. Wind out of the south up to 11 miles per hour. When you look across the nation, temperatures are in the 30s in Denver, 50s down to our south, much warmer in Oklahoma City. But hey, here in the uh, metro and areas north and south of us, you can see many spots waking up into the mid to upper 40s. So not so bad as we go hour by hour this morning. You can see upper 40s expected through the 7 o'clock hour. I think rain will still be likely in some parts by 11, 55 degrees by then. And with a southeasterly wind, we should eventually warm up into the mid, maybe upper 60s this afternoon if we get a little bit of clearing to occur. Then by this evening, looks like clouds kind of linger across the area. While there may be some breaks in the clouds, thicker clouds do return, and that keeps our temperatures from dropping too much as we head through the overnight hours. So 62 degrees expected by 11. Here's the latest on satellite and radar. You can see widespread rain that continues to move in and out of the area. There are some areas not seeing a whole lot of rain. That's mainly here in northwestern Missouri. So Tarkio, Maryville, those areas probably only seeing a few sprinkles, but I can show you hour by hour on our forecast track that this rain is expected to at least wind down or taper off as we head through the second half of the morning. Look at the number here, the timestamp, Wednesday, 7 a.m. Expect some of this to be off to our east, the heavier stuff that is. And then we'll start to dry out, see some improving conditions through the noon hour, eventually seeing clouds thicken once again. Can't rule out another stray shower or a little bit of a uh, sprinkle or two as we head through the evening. And we've got another round of showers and this one, I think by Thursday, this round expected to produce a little more thunderstorm activity. So you notice the reds and oranges on our forecast track. So again, tomorrow scattered showers and a few thunderstorms that could potentially be on the stronger side with threats mainly, mainly between some strong gusts and maybe some smart small hail. I think localized flooding, though, will be the main risk over the next two days because rainfall totals will be pretty significant. I think we'll get up to an inch today in just a couple of areas, maybe lesser uh, amounts the farther north and west you live just from today's rain alone. And then tomorrow, I think we could see an additional inch of rain wherever those thunderstorms line up, which we'll be monitoring very closely. Security Bank seven day forecast weather alert up for you today and tomorrow. Uh, I think will be dry and then much colder and windy as we head through Friday. There was a possibility that we could see wind advisories get issued for Friday because winds could gust up to about 40 miles per hour, maybe 45. But this weekend, as we enjoy the very first official weekend of spring, it's going to feel more like winter. Joe.